The Exorcist is considered by many to be the scariest movie of all time. It's based on the 1971 novel The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. I just read the book and then I watched the movie. In this video, I'll compare the two and at the end, I'll tell you which one I think is better. This video will contain spoilers about both of the book and the movie, so here's your warning. The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty was published in 1971 and is about a 12-year-old girl named Reagan who becomes possessed by a demon, followed by a bunch of crazy sh**. This book has one of the creepier covers out there, and it also happens to be one of the creepiest books I've ever read. It's one of those books that makes you a little leery walking around your house late at night when it's dark. There are some seriously sick and twisted things that happen in this book. And, you know, a lot of them are also depicted in the movie. One involves a crucifix? It takes a while to get to the actual exorcism itself in this book, but I didn't mind that because the setup was so believable and well done. The mother who's distraught about what's happening to her daughter, you know, she seeks the advice of multiple doctors and psychiatrists first. And when they have exhausted all the options and cannot figure out what's wrong with this poor girl, you know, only then does the mother resort to seeking the help of the church and begging a priest to perform an exorcism on her daughter because she's just at her wit's end and doesn't know what else to do. And I really liked the character of Chris McNeil, the mother of Reagan. She has a lot of idiosyncrasies. She behaves like a mother who is distraught at what's happening to her poor daughter. And she's got a really quirky, kind of funny sense of humor in the book as well that she's not afraid to let out during really dark moments in the book to add a little bit of levity to really heavy situations. Personally, my favorite parts in the book were the conversations between Father Karras and the possessed Reagan. The demon, the way he talks in the book is just so malevolent and sinister and just really interesting to see how Blatty portrayed how he thought a demon would talk to a priest and it was a really interesting dynamic. And I honestly felt like they kind of rushed through those scenes. In the movie, they didn't feel like they had as much weight and impact as they did in the book. The movie The Exorcist was released in 1973 and was directed by William Friedkin. And it was, to say the least, a cultural phenomenon. According to IMDb, it's the first horror film to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. And when adjusted for inflation, it would be the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time. It was a global sensation when it came out. It was surrounded by controversy. Some people thought it should, be, should have been rated X. Uh, there were multiple reports of people fainting during the movie in the theaters. This movie was really known for not only its dark, scary subject matter, but also its incredible special effects and makeup effects, especially for the time it was released. And I will say, watching it in 2020, I do personally feel like a lot of those effects are a little dated. I watched this movie with my wife and she even was laughing at a couple moments, which, you know, takes you out of a movie if people are laughing at moments that are supposed to be really scary and serious. And I'll admit I did find some of the effects a little hokey looking. I will say though that there are some really great performances in this movie. Ellen Burstyn in particular stands out to me as Chris McNeil, the mother of Reagan. She really delivers as a mother who is just being ripped apart emotionally. I'm telling you that that thing upstairs isn't my daughter. Now I want you to tell me that you know for a fact that there's nothing wrong with my daughter except in her mind. Reagan is played by Linda Blair in the movie, who I thought did a fine job with a very difficult role. The use of sound in this movie is very impressive especially the creepy, animalistic noises that come out of Reagan. Very unsettling and helped this movie win the Oscar for Best Sound. You do have to appreciate the amount of work and effort that went into making this movie. I mean, they refrigerated her bedroom, for crying out loud, just so it looked 
cold and just the amount of work that went into the effects and the makeup uh, apparently it was originally scheduled to take 85 days to shoot this movie and it ended up taking 224. Some of the differences I noticed between the movie and the book include what they do with the character of the police detective in the movie, Lieutenant Kinderman, played by Lee J. Cobb in the movie. In the book, Lieutenant Kinderman is very quirky. His thoughts always kind of seem to be all over the place and he's just a strange guy who's got a weird sense of humor, but not really in the movie. He's played very differently in the movie. It's a very different vibe. He's a little more serious. He also is in the book a lot more, and there's a whole side plot with him investigating Carl, who is one of the servants in the McNeil house, and that whole side plot was not in the movie. The you know that famous line? The power of Christ compels you! Yeah, that's never uttered once in the book. In the book, Reagan is constantly having diarrhea, which is gross, I know, and she's frequently relieving herself all over her bed to the point where she has to wear a diaper and they're f always changing the sheets, but that's not in the movie, probably because it would be difficult to film and disgusting and there's already projectile vomiting and stuff in the movie, so they probably figured we've got enough gross out scenes in this movie already, we don't need to be adding poop all over the bed. One thing that I really wish they had put in the movie that they didn't from the book was a line spoken by the possessed Reagan to the exorcist himself, Father Marin, played by Max von Sydow in the movie. In the book, when he comes to the house and goes into Reagan's room for the first time, it's relayed to you through a side character that Reagan says to him, this time you're going to lose. And I thought that was a super chilling uh, line and moment in the book, letting you know that these two have met before. And they didn't put that in the movie, and I really wish that they had. The Exorcist is a very well-made movie. You should see it at least once in your life. At the end of the day, though, I found the book to be more compelling and scarier. So I will say that The Exorcist, the book, in my opinion, is better than the movie. If you're looking for a scary book to read this Halloween season, I highly recommend The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. What are your thoughts, though? Have you read the book or seen the movie? Comment below, let me know. And if you like this video, please do me a favor. Click like, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Tell your friends, share my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.